We're back with Brooklyn Nine Nine, episode twelve and thirteen. Mate, we it's weird. We actually probably get, we only got like what this season left, and then one more season after this, and we're all caught up. Um, it says, well, while we're celebrating their first anniversary, Jake and Amy realise they've had a communication breakdown over a major decision in their life. Oh, wonder if this is going to be about babies. Ooh. <laughs> no, but um, so far, but yeah, um, another Jake and Amy. Yeah, could be about baby decision if it's major. I wonder if one wants kid and one doesn't. That could be an interesting conflict to see them both have. Um, I'd be more like, I bet Amy wants to, would have kids and then Jake would sort of want a responsibility one maybe. I'd love to see what they're going to do with this episode actually. I'm quite interested already. But yeah, guys, other than that, let's just jump into this bad boy. So thanks for the support as usual, guys. Always appreciate it. You guys are a lovely fan base. Um, thanks for everyone who's sticking through this with me, through with me for six seasons if you watched it. I've had so much fun watching this. But yeah. Really? Let's just jump into this bad boy, guys. So check out Patreon for the access and you uncut. Let's jump into this bad boy. A fresh bag of blood. <laughs> Why does he know these people too well? When a hospital is a happy place for you. Amy. <laughs> That's what I do when I watch. <laughs> Wait, this is a loop. If I could watch Disney movies, I could watch anything. We can hang out here and chat and catch up and laugh and technically we'll be doing our jobs. I call it. Oh, he just misses hanging out with Amy. And as an irresponsible goof for this very moment. ridiculous. Holtz respects you. Does he though? Here we go. Hey, sir. I can come to the fair. I think you agree. Run. That was so dumb. <laughs> I love Holt. <laughs> oh, it's the best character. Holt's my boy. Why is, why is Boyle just there? Okay. Except for the comatose body in the middle of the room. Oh, yeah. Just pretend he's part of Paris. Imagine we're on a walk tour of the Louvre. What a great anniversary. At least he tries. Descriptions are different, and the world was so blurry. Yeah, it was crazy. I thought I was having a stroke. Okay, your turn. Number four. Oh, is an old witch introducing this highlight? That was exactly what you sounded like. No. Yeah, yes. We disagree. Fine. Number four. Was this is why I love them. Laser tag and shot all those. Or oh, disagreeing over their favorite moment. Mason's mm -hmm. birthday party. It was the coldest night of the year, and he put socks on my feet while I slept. You never even took credit for it. And now I'm getting credit for that, and for not taking credit. That's double. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Oh, I'm excited for number one. My number one moment was the bit where he was in bed when he realised he loved her. That was my favourite moment in it. You know, and he just looked at her and he was just like, I love this woman. Oh, that was such a sick moment. Get emotional thinking about it. Are we the bad guys here? Yeah, it seems very likely. Hey, by the way, we don't have to pretend we're undercover here. The hospital staff knows we're cops. Oh, I wasn't setting up cover, was I? Well, just the kids thing. This situation is awkward. See, if I was ever going to have kids, it'd be in the age when I'm 30 or 35. We talked about this. We did? We did? Oh, look at these pictures my brother sent of Matthew. Mm. We should do this someday. What do you think? Are you kidding me? Of course. You, you know, it would have been cool if they had the roles of... having kids? It would have been cool if they had that roles reverse for a change where it was Jake who wanted kids and Amy who was unsure. I just think it would have been a bit different. Just just a little thing. It would have been... So let me get this straight. All that water park money I've been saving, you want to spend it on kids now? Yeah, why would you want to spend that much money on a water park? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what to say here. I just... <laughs> 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 That's all you press? Just search my heart and then start to know what it's doing. I'm going to eat you alive. <laughs> cool. And then you have kids together? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Amy. Taking the affirmative, you'll be taking the negative. Each round will be individually scored by our judge, Captain Holt. Do you need to hear my credentials? Where did Captain Holt come from? Zero. I believe the wires and Yankee. Ding. Okay, Peralta, you can present the first argument from your, uh... 
to be fair, they're only a year in the relay. I guess some people. It's a hard one because, like, I know some people. Uh, like, how do you go about it? Like, say you don't want kids and the other one does. Where does that go? Wait, must be, must be such an awkward debate. Like, I won't mind either way if they wanted kids. I won't mind if they. But it, we have to be together for a long time before that happens. But then, like, hmm. I won't mind either way. <laughs> That's a good point, good point. Good point. That was respectable. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Oh, I love Kevin and Holt. Oh, here we go. I knew he was going to pull out a banger. Is he insane? I'd be even more in this. I love it. Oh, Jake. No, oh, that bit where he pulled out Kevin, that was so good. <laughs> Kevin's here. From a pharmacy the other day. You shouldn't have. Yeah, it was very warm. I got so sick. Look, can we just press pause on this conversation? That's fair. Lives for a little bit, and then maybe the next time it comes up, I'll feel differently. Okay. No. What? What? I need an answer from you now. <laughs> like right this minute? You could take a day or a week. Really? Maybe a month. Not a lot of time. I mean, oh, this is a deal breaker for her. Well, now you know how I feel. I think they're having a fight. No, it's not a fight. It's just a devastatingly sad conversation about whether or not we should have kids or just start over. So I see it. They just start over thing because I know I know people in that situation. I get where Amy's coming from. Like at the end of their relationships, is like you could be in a relationship for five. I, mean, I know people who've been in a relationship for five plus years, and then they're. The, 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 then they realise they fell out of love three years in but then keep going and then it, you've got to start over at some point with someone else so you do like oh it's so weird oh can I give it at least it's sticking for both points that's not a bad thing no stay in the room why did you leave him hi <sighs> Pam BAM! You traitor! Oh, that was an unexpected twist. I didn't expect it to be BAM! You weren't supposed to be here. This wasn't part of you and the bomb squad right away and jam all cellular and Wi-Fi signals. On it. Okay, Pam, so we're just gonna stay calm here and talk this thing through as I can't believe the betrayal by Pam. The man said that I So, did they defuse the bomb? Yeah, one of them. What what? Oh, you didn't hear? There was a second bomb. Your butt. Your butt is done. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> Starting point. Ah, oh, the guys are so happy. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, interesting episode. Very, like I said, there is debatable points. Damn, my phone is overheating. Why?